We are back. Let's see if I get this thing set up here. We are in the north part of the strip. We are near Circus Circus and the West Gate, the Pepper Mill, the new Resorts World casinos going in. To get this thing all set up this way. We have people uh, walking back and forth. Sidewalks are kind of jacked up as they're doing a lot of the work here, but they're making their way through. See the circus circus. And some kind of a Visual feedback here. Let me see if I can get out and fix this. There we go. Resorts World is scheduled to open in the summer of 2020. It's coming up relatively quickly. Right next to Circus Circus. Used to have the Riviera hotel casino on the side that I'm on now, but it was taken down to make room for the convention center parking lot as they expand the convention center. Fountain Blue building right next door, just north of us. Also uh, hasn't been opened ever. It was uh, stopped in 2009 as the economy uh, took a dump at that point and hasn't start resumed construction since then, but it's a uh, massive building. And I'm sure at some point someone will jump in, much like they're doing with the Resorts World property, which was also a boy gaming property that was shut down. The Pepper Mill Diner, just on the Strip. Very popular place, been in many movies. Welcome back. We're in Las Vegas. We're now on the strip. We're at the north end of the strip. The Sahara down the road, maybe a, a mile to the right. And the stratosphere, of course, just beyond that. It's a party bus, the disco bus of Las Vegas. You get to rent the whole bus and have a party inside while he drives around. Nothing more fun than that. Limousines back and forth, personal cars, people walking. Pushing 10 o'clock at night here in Las Vegas. You expect it to be a little bit busier, but it is January. Once Resorts World opens up, then this whole area will be much more of a attraction and draw. A lot of people stop at the Wynn and Encore, turn around and go back the other way.
We may try heading down that way here in a bit and see if we can retain the Wi-Fi the whole way down the strip. Be really cool. There's the beast, another party Hummer or a big uh, truck. Lots of things to rent in Las Vegas. Saw a guy renting a uh, Ferrari. Probably didn't uh, tell them at the time they rented it that you can't open it up on the streets here. You keep it at 35 miles an hour. Still fun to drive, I'm sure. Quite a few uh, tourists from around the world in Las Vegas right now, those that can get in. Uh, many different uh, languages heard at the hotel we're staying at. You have a uh, ice skating competition going on there. This area has always been somewhat uh, neglected, I guess would be the word. Uh, tourism wise, the strip is huge. Fremont Street is huge. This middle section has always struggled in the last 10, 20 years. But as they continue to fix these resorts and add them back in, expand the convention center, increase the walkability, it's become much more a part of the overall strip north to south. And they're doing a lot of work for downtown Vegas, creating a sense of arrival as you pass the stratosphere. A lot of construction going on, a lot of the older buildings, wedding chapels, shops, pawn shops, other things have been knocked down as they widen the roads, fix the roads, and turn it into more of a pleasant drive to the downtown Fremont Street area. We're sitting here in the parking lot of the Pepper Mill across the street from the Circus Circus and the brand new Resorts World. Slots of fun out in front of Circus Circus. Used to play 50 cent craps there with the uh, fine folks at the front of the Slots of Fun. They had a little entertainment in the back, some food and beverage you could get, lots of slot machines. It actually might be closed right now as many of the uh, properties have been slow to reopen after the pandemic. There's some hotels that actually shut down midweek they're only open on the weekends. The McDonald's across the way, that uh, restaurant had been moved and rebuilt uh, a few years back as they were expanding some of the uh, resorts here, the Resorts World property. It was on the land that they wanted for the resort, so I believe they paid to have it rebuilt and moved one plot over. Huge sign, lots of lights, announcing the opening in the summer of 2021. And here comes a family with a bunch of kids out at 10 o'clock at night in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is for everybody. Over at Circus Circus, watching the circus acts. If they're on, they've got the arcade and carnival. You can bring children to Vegas. You got to stop in and check it out. Looks like we won some things. All right. Good times for all. Oh, here comes a fast car. Ah, motorcycle. Another motorcycle. Not a whole lot of places you can actually open it up like that. I guess this section of the strip, you can do that. It used to be the front of the Riviera Hotel Casino, which is pictures. I was watching the A-Team movie the other day. I believe they uh, may have driven a Hummer through the front. The uh, Fast and Furious movies, I believe, also had a crack at it. 3,000 miles of Graceland, had a shootout inside of it and up on the roof. Great historic hotel taken down a couple years back. We are here, we have the chat box open and if you have any questions or wanna make any suggestions, feel free to put it on there. Once we achieve a certain level of views and hours and subscribers, then we'll be able to afford some better equipment. In the meantime, we'll do what we can, bring you exciting travel. Arizona, California, Nevada, Texas, all the places we go.
Live from Las Vegas, Saturday night, January 16th. A little bit slower this time of year, typically. Definitely in the uh, pandemic world, it's even slower. All restaurants, other than the fast food drive-ups, you have to make a reservation for, including Denny's or an IHOP or a restaurant such as that. One of our favorite stops in Las Vegas is Ellis Island. They have a great rib special. Went there tonight, figured we'd pop in for some ribs, and we were told that had to make a reservation, and it wasn't until 10 o'clock at night local time. It was about a three-hour wait at that time, so we went ahead and got ourselves some In-N-Out burger. Lots of construction. Oh, ouch. Guy just drove over a traffic sign. going on. Got one of the local entertainers making his way this way here. Wait and see what happens here. Possibly one of the local street multiple helicopters circling tonight. Might be some nighttime helicopter. Could be police action. Maybe somebody just got a helicopter. People crossing the street, non-crosswalk, no lights. Tiger family. Thanks for tuning in. We're sitting here in the parking lot of the Pepper Mill. Directly across is the Circus Circus Hotel Casino. The chat is on. Back when I had managed a hotel here, we had a uh, six acre plot of land, a huge parking lot. And there's a dividing line here that's pepper mill land and then someone else's land. Being towing cars, caught them one day, dropping them in my parking lot, ran them off, told them I didn't want to be a part of that business. Big business, lots of towing. People just park anywhere they can, trying to find something fun to do. We're gonna see if we can move and keep the internet signal. So stick around, see what we can do here. Get up and down the strip, maybe. If we lose the signal, we'll find another place to restart and jump right back in. There we go. Let's see if someone's nice enough to let us in. Trying to hit that traffic sign. There we go. We missed the traffic sign. All right, let me know if we're still live. There we go. We still have some signal. This is the Las Vegas Strip. Do our best to capture as much as we can driving up and down the strip. The Convention Center Drive, Las Vegas Boulevard. 